seems like he's coming back, but you're not sure what he actually wants. Hello, my name is Krata Berishita. I'm dating and relationship coach for women. For the awesome high value women secrets, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And just before I will share with you four steps how to behave when your guy that you really want is finally coming back to you but you're unsure about his intentions towards you, don't forget to take my free self-awareness test to find out are you a woman of high value or low value which I will drop down in the video description box below. And ladies, just want to make this clear. When I talk about being a woman of high value or low value, I want you to understand that in God's eyes, we all have exactly the same value and God loves us all the same. But when I say high value or low value, what I mean is when somebody is practicing attractive high value behaviors and when someone is practicing unattractive low value behaviors, okay? So just because you're low value, it doesn't mean you don't have value. It just means you're practicing low value behaviors behaviors at this time being. So let's talk about how to properly get a guy back after the breakup. So the breakup that I am referring here to is if, let's say, it just did not work out. He has done some mistakes, you have done some mistakes, slowly the relationship kind of fall apart and you guys experience the breakup. So maybe you behaved in some toxic low-value ways which he found unattractive and slowly started to lose attraction for you and perhaps maybe he behaved in some low value ways which you found unattractive and didn't want to stay with him anymore. However, now some time has passed, some of the memories from the past relationship are kind of flashing back to you and the guy seems to be coming around as well but he's not offering to have you back properly. He is not there with the ring proposing to marry you. Just kind of slowly coming in and you just don't know what's happening, how you should behave because you kind of do want to have him back, but at the same time, you don't want to scare him off either. So the step number one to take in this case would be reflect why the relationship has not not worked out before. As I said, if a relationship has not worked out in the past, there are reasons for it. And same as you are missing him, same he is probably missing you as well. However, he's not coming at you very strong because the breakup did happen and you both kind of looking at things logically, right? Because it's like if the breakup happened, there were reasons for it. However, now you both are missing each other after a period of time and you're kind of thinking like, should we go back together? Should we not? What if the breakup will happen again? Because as majority of us know, people, many people don't invest time in growth and change, etc. So if the person is not willing to grow and if you're not willing to grow, you will start to experience the same problems in a relationship and things will fall apart again, right? So he kind of wants you, therefore he's kind of saying hi by waving at you, but he's not coming at you full on because he is not sure. He is kind of even scared to take those steps so the breakup does not happen again. So the number one is to understand the whole situation. Why is he not jumping on you asking for that relationship again? A lot of ladies really expect a lot this unrealistic approach from men when the nasty breakup happened. And I think it's a very unrealistic approach because if the breakup happened because both people made mistakes, it's really unrealistic for ladies to think that but if you gave a guy some space, he's gonna run back to you because he misses you like crazy and propose to you. 
Men are logical. He's not going to run back, propose to a woman who he fell apart with in a relationship. You know, he's gonna run back to propose to a woman who he really loved, admired, adored, and was really attracted to in the relationship not proposed to a woman who he kind of fell out of love with and things just fell apart because everything was so toxic. So if you think that just by giving a guy space a month, two months or three months by not being in contact with him, uh, that he will run back to you proposing to you even if you had a toxic relationship, that is a very, very unrealistic approach. Which takes me to the step number two. He is missing you, but he is not sure. Therefore, he is kind of lingering around, saying hi, not jumping on you because he's kind of observing you and perhaps thinking about taking things slow as he doesn't want to fall into the trap of a relationship where the toxic things happen again, right? So following to the number three step would be don't jump on him, okay? A lot of ladies, when the guy comes back to you and you feel like you still have very strong feelings for him, a lot of girls literally jump on an ex whenever he waves at them. They're like, wow, hooray, this guy was crazy in love with and did a million of mistakes. You know, he just kind of waved at me or said hi and he's trying to start a conversation with me and I don't know what he wants, but I really want him back. And then, then the guy says hi or how are you? The conversation continues for a few days few days later, girls literally get very impatient and we jump on a guy, pushing him into a corner saying, what is it that you want? I want a relationship. I want to take things further, etc., etc." And this is how we really scare guys off. Because if things fell apart because you guys had a toxic relationship and now after a few days of talking to him, you're cornering him and saying, I want us to get back together and have a relationship again and try all over again, he is going to be wary of it because he's scared to fall into those toxic patterns again. And by jumping on him like that, you're also pursuing him. And of course, when women pursue men, we turn them off because we are behaving very masculine. Which takes me to the step number four, go at his pace. You know, for example, he said, hi Greta, how are you doing? I'll say hi, I'm doing great. Next time you let a guy to message you again. Then you let the guy to message you again. Then you let the guy to message you again. Then perhaps you message him first. If he calls you later, you pick up but you don't bring up the relationship that you guys had. You kind of just have this relaxed, easy approach and you nearly like start things fresh. You start things without bringing all those past issues and without talking about them. Now, the reason you don't talk about the issues is because Many times, talking and communication with words does not help. It just brings back all the past problems. What does work is communication with your actions, communication with your boundaries. What works is taking a different approach to dating and relationships. However, there are many different approaches, therefore you have to make sure that you're taking the right approach, the approach that works. As I say, the high value approach. 
So when a guy is coming at you slowly, let him lead at his pace and just have a very chilled, laid back approach. If things are unclear, you don't know what's going on, you know, and you don't want to feel like you're wasting your time, but when you still are not together, keep your options open. But with the guy that you want, let him lead you at his pace and take very, very chilled approach. And strong big words like together, a relationship, where is this going, do you want to get back together, uh, why are you coming back to me, these words should not even enter your vocabulary as it may come across as too much pressure to the person that is just gently taking few steps forward towards you. And the next step would be number five is handling the situations differently in a future. So I'll give you a couple examples for that. Usually things fall apart, the relationship becomes toxic and then eventually people start to lose attraction for each other is we behave in the low value way. So for example, when you start to not trust the person and when you don't trust the person, you can become very controlling, you can become very possessive because you are feeling very insecure. When you feel very insecure, you're very likely to blame the person for things that they have not done because you're feeling insecure. You're, very, you're also very likely to lose emotional control and all of these are very very toxic behaviors that long term turn the other person off right the other unattractive behaviors to a man if you're in a relationship with a guy or just dating is when you're behaving masculine when you're taking a man's job and you start to pursue a guy so if you're asking him out if you're texting him first if you're calling him first if you're very flirty in your messages, if you're hinting and showing to him that you're really into him, all of these behaviors are very masculine behaviors because it's, it's showing too much interest towards the guy. It's pursuing a man too much. And you know, if a guy is a masculine guy, he doesn't want to date another man. He's actually looking for somebody that can compliment him, which is a feminine woman. So therefore, when the ex is slowly lingering back to you, go at his pace and replace the unattractive behaviors with attractive ones so the breakup does not happen in the future. Ladies, if you would like to know how to be a woman of high value, the characteristics of a high value woman, how to set in boundaries with people, how to control your emotions, how to be a challenge for a man, the differences between men and women, games men play on women so you don't get manipulated and used and abused in your relationship. I have all of these videos for sale in my high value women package which you will find on my website and I will put a link in the video description box below and as a pinned comment under this video. So ladies, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you liked it, please press like. Let me know in the comments below what did you think. Join Greta's High Value Women School where we are all in the same boat learning how to be women of high value and bring out the best in our man. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is called Ladies Relationship Coach. And for one-on-one -on -one coaching with me or a member of my team or my VIP group coaching, book us through my website, gretaberishita.com. And thank you for watching again. Kisses from Dorset. Yeah.